साधनास फ्रॉम रिभू गीता बाय हिज होलीनेस श्री स्वामी शांतानंदपुरी महाराज चॅप्टर नाईन्टीन द मिनिंग ऑफ द महावाक्यस अँड ऑल इज फॉल्स देर आर फोर इम्पॉर्टंट महावाक्यस एक्झिओमॅटिक मेगा स्टेटमेंट्स ईच वन फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द फोर वेदास दॅट इज उपनिषद्स The first is Pradhyanam Brahma, that is, consciousness is Brahman. My innermost consciousness is Brahman, and the entire world is only knowledge. The import of Pradhyanam is the Jeeva, that is, the individual soul, and by Brahman is indicated Ishvara, the Lord. The entire statement denotes their union, which is the only, which is the one indivisible, all-pervasive essence. to remain in the one thought of the indivisible form is called jivan mukti that is liberation while alive while to live in the reality of one undivided essence is called videha mukti that is liberation when divested of the body the subtle difference between jivan mukti and videha mukti is a matter of controversy among philosophers as told earlier in this book the mind which abides in the brahman as the self is defined as being in the in the undivided essence that is akhandaika rasam what is undivided essence just as salt dissolved in water becomes indivisibly one with it that is and the salt cannot be separated so is the one undivided essence when we get merged with the brahman videh mukti first come to a state of total void by leaving off all thoughts including the i then leave off the ego that i am the body and come to the conclusion that i am the brahman who is the witness of all there are three stages in vogue one dvaita vritti that is the first is being rooted in duality here the ego i am the body remains to sakshi vritti that is the firm conclusion that i am the brahman the witness of all remains 3 akhandaika rasa that is one should attain this state that is videha mukti and become one with it for this purpose the second mahavakya aham brahmasmi forms the training ground it is meant for repetitive practice this mahavakya should be meditated upon subjecting it to reasoning and reflection aham refers to jiva that is individual soul and brahman refers to ishvara the controlling lord the word asmi that's m refers to the undivided unified state where the jiva and the brahman becomes one living of the three words of the mahavakya and the mind attaining the state of undivided essence is the characteristic of videha mukti one should now continuously meditate on the supreme self that without doubt i am the self the undivided essence the third mahavakya is tattvam masi here tat represents the lord that is ishvara and tvam represents the jiva or individual soul asi represents the unified state of the undivided essence in one categorization the first mahavakya is called lakshana vakya a statement which gives the characteristic of the brahman while aham brahmasmi is anubhava vakya a statement of actual experience tattvam asi is called upadesha vakya where the guru gives the instruction the guru tells the disciple you are brahman you are the undiminishing consciousness you are existence consciousness bliss you have the conviction that you are the one with the indivisible essence the one who tells his disciple in this manner is the supreme guru the disciple who gets the conviction that i am brahman becomes the supreme self 
the one who says you are the brahman is your guru as thus you are the brahman you are the sadguru too the one who is convinced of his sadguru's instructions definitely gets liberation the one who listens to the guru's words the mahavakyas that process is called shravanam that is listening to reflect on these words through reasoning and logic is called mananam that is reflection renounce all forms of renunciation as also the fourth that is turiya state to abandon walking sleeping and dream states and to maintain in the samadhi state that is super consciousness as only the brahman the consciousness is called sakshatkar that is realization of the ultimate truth ayam atma brahma is the fourth mahavakya it is called nirdesha nirdesha vakya that which points out that the self is the brahman here the brahman means the undivided essence ayam means the jiva that is undivided soul asmi means to remain united with the undivided essence renouncing everything as void be convinced that i am the brahman there is no doubt i am the existence consciousness bliss merging the i with the transcendental truth abide as yourself all this world is a great untruth it never exists ribhu continues the existence of the body the gender the thoughts are all illusory i am the brahman alone the different scriptures the different vedas the different types of liberation say jivan mukti videha mukti or salokya that is to be in the same world as the lord with form etc are all unreal i am only brahman the divided and the undivided essence are all unreal knowledge of the self and ignorance are characteristics of the mind how can they exist where the mind does not exist the control of the mind and senses bondage and liberation cannot also exist in reality where there is no mind the world of the fire god and the world of indra king of gods the world of the dead ancestors that is pitrus are all illusory the faith in the guru's instructions liberation and the desire for liberation are all unreal listening to various instructions inquiry into their meanings and interpretations etc are all unreal there is no form of truth or reality anywhere there is nothing called the truth doubt or contradiction there is nothing other than the self all else is unreal all this looks like contradiction of the earlier parts of this book as this author has explained earlier the vedas the scriptures the guru the various sadhanas are all part of the grand illusion or unreality but they form the exit doors to get out of unreality the tiger in the dream is unreal but when it bites the dreamer the pain appears to be real only after doing all the sadhanas when we come to this stage we are eligible to say that they are all unreal though unreal they are very much needed at the earlier stages the concepts of brahman alone am i this is duality and i am consciousness jiva and brahman none of these are real any name or form anything good or bad any existence any joy or sorrow any world any worship of gods any meditation other than of the self are all unreal all is brahman only end of chapter 19